Mark Malden. I'm the band director here at Solar High School. I was just composing a little something called the COVID Curriculum Corral. Um, <laughs> it's something that I just put together for the purpose of this class. And maybe we can use it at the end of the semester for the AP Music Theory course. Um, so let me uh, talk a little bit more about myself. I'm the band director here at Solon High School, and I also teach uh, eighth grade band and seventh grade band along with Rob Luce at the middle school. Um, this is my 27th year teaching, I believe. I stopped counting. Um, and in that time I've taught in Hudson, Rocky River, Woodridge, East Cleveland, and Solon. And in addition to that, I spent 11 years teaching at uh, Howard University in Washington, D.C. That's my alma mater. That's where I started my education. Uh, my higher education as a music education degree um, from Howard, a bachelor's degree. Then I came to Kent State University and studied music theory and composition, trombone performance, and uh, that was a master's level. And then I went on to the PhD level of studying music education and music theory and composition. So that's enough about me. Let's talk about the course. Uh, in music theory AP, it's an advanced course, of course. It is AP, and in which we will actually focus on four main things. Um, the core skills are analyzing performed music, analyzing notated music, converting performed music to notated music. That's where we listen to a piece of music and write it down on a staff. Um, and the other part is um, actually completing music based on cues. So basically I could have something like this with some notes missing. So the students will be able to fill in the missing notes based on uh, common practices in music composition for the kind of music that we study, which is considered Western European based music. Uh, in addition to Western European based music, we will talk about a little bit about, about modern music, a little bit about chord changes, modern chord changes, rock and roll, jazz, uh, and pop music. We do talk a little bit about that, and that's covered in the course as well. So as far as uh, materials for the course that uh, were provided by me for your students, uh, there was a workbook in the folder. There was some blank staff paper. You can make, they can make as many copies of the blank staff paper as they, as they need to, because they're gonna be needing to do some stuff for me on the staff paper. And the, um, this here, Tonal Harmony textbook. Um, and this, that Tonal Harmony textbook is used at universities all across the country. It's, it's for um, music theory courses. Um, the music theory AP exam typically is pretty um, all-inclusive of all the material that we do. You hear your children singing in class. You hear your children uh, tapping out rhythms during class. You will hear your children um, sweating, if you can, if that's a possibility to hear them sweat during class. And a typical day is basically starting out with some fundamentals. Uh, music reading, notation, and then we move on to uh, something, uh, the concepts that are, you know, higher level. Um, it, it's pretty amazing what they can learn in the music theory course, because then what they can do is take that information and transfer it to the music that they've already been listening to, or new pieces of music that they hear, and you'll notice that they'll start to analyze the music that they hear out in public or the music that they listen to on their own. They will start to understand at a deeper level the music that they really enjoy. So make sure to check out my Google Classroom, have the students sign up for Google Classroom. I believe they're all there. And if there's any updates uh, or any useful information, I will put on my faculty information page and I will also add them to uh, the Google Classroom. Though that's going to be the most um, uh, useful tool for me communicating with the students. If you have any questions, please email me, markmalden at solonboe.org. If not, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming to Curriculum Lane.